Today, we will be doing the first ever Bushlight Apple product review. All right, so I got my Bushlight Apple product here. I know what you're thinking. Is this a Red's Apple Ale? Is this a cider? Is this Angry Orchard? Bada boom, bada bang. I don't know. I've never, ever, ever, ever had a bush light apple. So you're gonna get my, my true honest reaction right here, right now uh, on the video. So a little nervous, not gonna lie. Um, been pretty much on the record that you don't need to mess with perfection. Bush latte, bush light, nectar of the gods, blue yummy, blue smoothie. They're pretty much perfect. I got like 105 questions about this product as I'm guessing you do too. Now, is it just a hint of apple? Is it apples punching you right in the taste buds? apples or is this somewhere in the middle i don't know but we're gonna get into this beautifully packaged bush light apple product i am uh we're just gonna have to try it in order to answer our questions we got to get this thing open we're gonna do the first ever bush light apple product unboxing right here right now so comes in a nice compacted box it, it looks like i just got an iphone just rolling away from the apple store as you can tell, I slide it off sleek. Absolutely sleek design on the on the box. It came in the mail and it's still cold. This thing is cold, it's sweating. I feel like I just walked away from the Apple store with a new iPhone with this guy here. First impressions. Cool to see a bush light can in red. I like it, the mountains are red on there. It says bush light apple limited edition. Um, it's actually got some apples on here. It's a light lager with natural flavors. Natural flavors. Don't know what that means, but we're gonna say that it's apple. Ooh, a little more calories, a little more carbohydrates in this guy. So if you're watching the carbohydrates, just make sure you plan for that. I'm not doing that. After I notice the design, then the next thing I notice is this not facial recognition software. Um, when I go like this, the, uh, the top doesn't pop open. So no, no facial recognition on this guy. I guess we're gonna have to do it manually. But like I said, I'm nervous. I don't know how many times I said I'm nervous because it's a lot riding on this. Here we go. Apple. I do get a little hint of apple. You thought I was gonna go in for the uh, drink there. You thought I was gonna do the old, oh my God, that's cold thing. Did it, smelled it like I'm a craft beer snob. Not, not overpowering at all, just a slight little apple crisp. I feel like I'm just smelling a honey crisp apple right now, just ah, nice and refreshing. I, here we go though, God, I am on record. I am not a Red's Apple Ale guy. I'm not an Angry Orchard guy. I think they're too sweet. I think they're too much. I think they're overpowering. Will this be too much? Will it be too overpowering? Cheers. I'm gonna bite into this apple. That is, I am so happy right now because I was so nervous that this was gonna be crappy. I was so nervous that I was gonna have to give it a bad review. That is smooth. There is a little bit of sweetness to it, but the finish doesn't feel like I got sugar on my teeth. And that's what happens when you drink Red's Apple Ale. And that's what happens when you drink Angry Orchard. This guy, no sugar on the teeth. I'm pretty sure that nine out of 10 dentists would approve of this product. You can actually take that to the bank. That's probably a fact. I was nervous that I would have to say, you know, I like it, but I'm only going to have a, I have a couple. I think I could have 10 of these and still not feel like I, I got gut rot. But I would say is next time your girlfriend wants to go to an apple orchard, say, sure, honey, I'll go pick some apples, bring a 30 rack, put them in a basket and you're good to go. If this is the apple that Eve ate, I don't blame her. If bush light is the tree, this apple did not fall far from it. If I'm a floating around on the boat and I just want something that's just gonna refresh the shit out of me, just cool me down while still giving me a great flavor, I'm gonna have to go with the Bush Light Apple. So that's our unboxing review of the Bush Light Apple. Not too sweet, but just enough. Great beer finish. I don't feel like I got too much going on in my stomach. 
So at the end of the day, if you're thinking about giving Bushlight Apple a chance, I think you should. Um, it's not going to blow your face off with apples. It's just a nice little hint. Goes down easy. Doesn't leave that gross sugary taste in your mouth. Um, the only complaint I have, I do have one complaint, is that it doesn't have the facial recognition software. So I'm going to be looking for that software update, the iOS update on the next Bushlight Apple. But, you know, at the end of the day, even though I got to open it manually, I think I'll survive. So go check out Bushlight Apple. It is now available across the Midwest in various states. We'll probably throw that in the comments of which state it's available in. Bushlight don't look too bad in red, I tell you what. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.